Welcome back to Republic. Let's continue on into this unexplored area of the facility. And not just unexplored by me, but also apparently unexplored by Cooper. Who has been my guide. Sort of. Oh god, that's the paper that I wrote. Citizens of Metamorphosis. This is Matty Said with the Morning Bell Online Edition. Tonight's breaking news concerns one of our most elite Prizrak, a man entrusted to stand watch over us, to protect us at all costs. But now, this Prizrak, Edwin Chung, is charged with possession of contraband. We at the Morning Bell Online Edition will continue our up-to-the-minute coverage as we learn more. Thank you, and watch your step. I feel like the end of every Morning Bell newspaper should have should have a segment called The Bell End. Looks good. Let me see where these dudes are gonna walk. You go around. Okay, so nobody actually comes out here, gotcha. He just does a circuit. You do a back and forth, like a figure eight kind of thing. Hmm. <laughs> Is that a coffee maker? You really shouldn't be putting a coffee maker that close to a monitor. They tend to be very hot and make steam and stuff like that. Like, that's just not good for computer components. Alright, what's in here? This is a recharge station. Ooh, things. We might have a security breach. Someone just accessed both the Atlantic and Pacific server rooms. Okay, well, we'll just trace it. I did. It was Maddie Sage's car. Morning bell. Okay, she's allowed. Yeah, but why tonight? Eve of the arrival. Doesn't that seem weird to you? Well, after what he's preaching in there, I don't think anything's weird anymore. I believe monopolies <coughs> philosopher kings once reigned. You're not helping me. Here, have another cup. I'm gonna be up all night. We all will. Stay on it. Bird dog it. I'm sure it's nothing, though. Alright, so this is actually very up-to-date information. Because I just accessed the servers not more than an hour ago. Where are all these people, by the way? I just realized, isn't that so strange? So this was this data was just put here. Somebody was just working on this, right? Look, the, you can even see the coffee cup is steaming. Somebody was just collecting this data based on events that just happened within the past hour, and they were just saying that they're going to be up all night working on it, but there's nobody here but guards. Where are the people working the computers? It's really weird. got too much inflow. Where are we storing all this data? It's just runoff from Terminus. Runoff to where? Is there another server room I'm not aware of? It's not really a room. What is it then? What the hell's backing up an extra 30 zettabytes? What? It's above your pay grade. And mine. <laughs> zettabytes? Is that... How, how big is that actually? Is that right above terabytes? Like, I know it's bits, bytes, kilobytes, megabytes, gigabytes, terabytes. But then what's the next one? Is the very next one zettabytes? I feel like zeta is probably far above terabytes. Hmm. Well, I'm sure one day we'll be able to buy for, like, 20 bucks a hard drive. That's a couple zettabytes. Hell, you can already get two terabytes for, like, what, 50 bucks or something? Vice Admiral Matthews on the non-dial. Uh, this one? Uh, the other. Yeah, the second one. Uh -huh. Triglers off. Vice Admiral. 
The magnet sticks to what it knows. The needle always gets to the point. Go ahead. <clears throat> Let better 10620 overcoat. Two zero. Um, uh, three. Weak field. Eight, eight, four, seven. Overcoat. Wait three seconds. <clears throat> okay. Go secure. Avalon one, two, seven. We're secure. This better be important. I have a fleet to attend to. Yes, about that, Richard. I believe you might have overdone it. What are you talking about? That shiny flotilla surrounding <laughs> Our satellite shows three battle cruisers, a frigate. How a... the hell are you seeing that? Who do you think I am? Listen to me, sir. Remove those ships. It makes my people uneasy. Which people are you referring to? Tomorrow at the arrival, we expect a modest welcome party, not an army. We're the Navy. Pennies or pounds, either way, I don't care for it. Now, if you'll excuse me, Admiral, I have rather important business to attend to. Hey, you called me. <laughs> no, he hung up on me. He's in the Navy, the Admiral. Is he actually going to acquiesce to him? And lower the security? Hmm. Tonight's list, for your eyes only, sir. I see Mireille Prideau's name is absent. Sir, I have reason to believe the mentor has not been completely forthcoming with us. You think she's dangerous? I think she could harm the arrival, yes. In fact, I think those are her intentions. I always anticipated a certain degree of pushback. It's not outright sedition, but not from her. This one stings at the heart. Oh, I hate this music. My goodness, it's really coming down, isn't it? There's a storm moving in from the northeast. We're tracking it. I hope it doesn't upend the arrival. I hope it's not one and the same. Barrier, we spotted 390 AC Adrian, second floor. Watch the steps. Roger that. Problem? No problem. Just business as usual. But I'm afraid I'll have to catch up with you later. I see. Watch your step tonight. You too, sir. some of my men sweeping the operations center prior to the arrival. Now they know not to touch anything valuable, but let them do their work and give those rooms a clean bill of health before our overseer gets up there later tonight for his briefing. Just make sure I didn't miss anything here. Looks like that's it. Okay, uh, did I actually look what was in here? No, I did not. Oh, it's level 5. Never mind. Okay, so where are you going? Coming this way. That is very inconvenient. Might as well do some pickpocketing. Yes. Okay, so they're both... Yeah, they're both about to be going this way. He's going to come down here, go here. He's going to come down here, go here. So they're both going to be facing away from you, which means I can move up, but move up where? So he's going to come down here, he's going to go here, and he's going to go up, I think. So i got a bit of time. Enough time to get through. Hmm. Most likely not... But, can I hide behind here? Like, can I go back here? Ooh, I can. Okay. Yeah, so that's where I'm going. Not just yet, though. I gotta hold on a second. Get me back. Oh, actually, I could probably just press this, right? Yeah. Animal spotted. Animal spotted. Animal 
good. Okay, let's pickpocket him. Let's go for the steel. Got it. Got the report. No, don't go through the front. What do you? Can you actually not go behind it? There's totally room. There's definitely room to go back there. What are you doing? There, there's blatantly room enough back there. There's like. Two feet. All right. Well, that's interesting. Press rack on the patrols. Should be fine. Wait for this guy to turn. No sign of the girl. Press rack. I don't know, when the Admiral was surprised that um, the Overseer was actually able to realize that the ships were present, and he wasn't quite sure how he knew that, I think it's because of their satellite system. Yeah, global satellite position, so they got satellites everywhere, they have, they have data, no doubt about it, and oh, I didn't even see that before, look at that. Is that what the entrance to this place is? Some huge, like, pyramid on top of the water? Clear. Recharge? Good, good idea. We can nice. recharge here. more than I can carry. Alright, let's get the ping ability finally. Welcome to my domain. Any of the applications on the map? Come back anytime. Alright, so I can see them on the map, huh? Yes, I can. That's actually quite handy. I don't really use the map that often, to be honest, but it gives me a quick overview of how many people are in a room. I feel like I'm about to sneeze. Just a pre-warning. And it's going away. Station 16, this is Madame Prudhoe. Close the investigation on Precal 390H. I've chosen not to recalibrate her at this time. Uh, negative, Madame. I can't let you authorize that. What? You've been downgraded to reliability status pending review. <laughs> Absurd. Maybe, but you can't make changes to a Precal status until someone reinstates your security clearance. This is Marie Prudhoe, and I am giving you a direct order. Close the file on the girl. Or I will come up there and do it myself. Well, that's just it. You can't get up here. Madame. <laughs> hmm? A video? Oh, this is what happened. I wondered how she escaped. Wait, what the hell just happened? Did I miss something? Uh, I think I want to watch that again. How did... what happened to him? He... Grabbed her. Phone got kicked. He just... 
he was going to taser, and then he just had like an, an attack of some sort. Like he grabbed his chest and he looked like he was in horrible pain. He knew he couldn't fend her off, I guess, so he kicked the elevator shut. What happened to him? That's strange. Does he have some sort of a medical condition? Ooh, what's this? Oh, this is, uh... This is Hope's room. Haven't been here in a while. Hello? Hello? Good evening, citizens of Metamorphosis. From where I sit, I behold a shimmering panorama, upset only by the most magnificent island in the sun. Upon its silken shores lie opportunities to a happiness old world man could have never imagined. Adventures on a scale so grand, they would stop the hearts of history's boldest dreamers. We are nearly there. But the wind has never been in our favor. And so we must power our own conveyance. The arrival is near, my friends. Now is not the time to draw in the oars. Now is the time to row mightily, to move swiftly until the topmast splinters overhead and the white-capped violence of their filthy ocean bows in apology. Citizens, row for me tonight, and I promise you by dawn we will arrive. This was tonight. The last moment of calm before the chaos. Poison Manifesto started appearing at our doorsteps only minutes later. spreads fast in here. Did I get something new? Ooh, what's that? Oh, that's a uh, gunpoint, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's weird. No, no comment about the game? That's strange. I'm actually glad about that, because I kind of got sick of hearing him awkwardly talk about these games, but that's really strange. Um, anyway, yeah, Gunpoint. I, I played it. A really, really good game. Really nice. Wright's native son is the spitting image of Twain's Huckleberry Finn, reveling in the same societal failures from within the black perspective rather than from outside. The book does not lie. Social corruption leads to moral compromise. We cannot let the citizens of our fine nation imagine an alternative to the superior mold that we provide. They are our natives, not rights. Yeah, two guards in here. A 
looks like it's a scanner or something, but it seems to be disabled as far as I can tell. There's no lasers or anything like that. Any intel in here? I'll even settle for some AMD. Nope, not a thing. Alright, what are your patterns? Hmm. These are some awkward patterns. Let's see, if I get her over here, she'll, yeah, she would be safe here, and she could walk through there. Um, I think I just want to take these people out, rather than deal with their weird patterns, and I've got three of these mines. So I'm thinking, let's plop one down. Let's see, are you about, I think he's about to go here. Clear. Turn. Everything looks good. Turn. Turn. And now's our chance. If I can get a camera angle where I can actually see the thing, kinda good enough. Okay. Now he's probably gonna scream loudly. So we'll see <laughs> we'll see what happens. Taser in hand. I hope the other guy doesn't see the body. I don't think I've ever seen anybody actually discover a body in this game, but I'm assuming that's a behavior that exists for the AI, since it really wouldn't make sense if it didn't. So I don't want to see what would happen if that happened. Whoa! Okay, that scared me. <laughs> yep, other guy doesn't give a shit. Let's see, what game did I get? Oh yeah, I remember that game. I never played it, but I think I saw it on Steam or something, and I was intrigued by it, but then I kind of forgot about it. It's got a very strange title, as you can see. Alright, well this just became extremely easy. What's your pattern again? You know, something bad might happen if she goes through there. Like, I, I don't know, I don't want to risk it. But just in case, let's just follow this guy back. Pocket him. Let's see what he's got on him. Yes, thank you for changing the camera angles. Which way are you turning? Is either going straight or this way? Either way should be fine. Got it. Alright, turn to the side, that's fine. Is there a book or anything to grab? I don't see one. Uh, he's gonna go around, so let's just hang out here until he starts going back, and then I'll head to the- Whoa, no, no, no. Then I'll head to the door. No, don't run. Don't, don't, just- Don't stay there. Go here. Ah, Broken Age. Split into two episodes, or chapters, or whatever they're called. First one has been released, second one, I don't- No, it hasn't come out yet, I don't believe. I'm most likely gonna play it. Probably, but I'm just waiting for the whole thing to come out before I start. Rizrak, checking in. Zager cassette. Oh, thank you for picking up the cassette that I didn't know existed. Place is quiet. Did 
we make it through? It would seem so. This concludes our tour for the evening. Did I mention you exit through the gift shop? Go to the door marked Sanctuary. My gift to you is the prompt arrest of Edwin Chong and David Bowen. You're welcome. So we've gone up a floor here, in this central room. It's a lot of different places that spin off from here. Yeah, can't go there, but I can go here before going to where I need to go. So let's see what's over here. What does that say? Something action? Is there a good camera? Dissection? What the hell is that saying? I don't know. Uh, not much I can do in here until I have level 5 access. Brave Prisrak, relieved to be alive. New details leaked in kidnapping plot. <laughs> oh yeah, that was the... Again, don't worry about how you're presented. We control the narrative. You just describe your experience to me. Okay, so... Like I was, uh... I, I thought I heard something suspicious outside the reading room. Suspicious how? Suspicious, like... I don't know, like it was talking. Like someone talking to themselves? Yeah, and, and I'd known from, from our briefings that Zager's crazy and he talks to himself a lot, so, so so I thought, you know, maybe it could be him. I see. I'd like to ask you about something else. I, I know what you're going to ask me. There's a rumor. Absolutely not. Not even a little. It's a natural human reaction. Look, if anyone in that room pissed themselves, it was Zager when he saw it broken free. I'm not accusing anyone of anything. No, I'm talking This interview's over. <laughs> yeah, that was the poor guy that got kidnapped by Zager. In one of his crazier moments. And that's it. For now. Snuck contraband into metamorphosis. What about you? What do you have to say for yourself? Smart man. You could learn something from this man. Ugh. They could be here all night. Huh. I have an idea. Quinn. It's Matthew. Miss To what do I owe this pleasure? Is this a bad time? Not at all. Just had to step out of the confessional box. Yeah, I'll, uh, give me a minute. What are we still doing here, huh? Come on, people. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Get these two delinquents down to processing. No. You stay here. Man this post. There's still a pre cal at large. We can't have her getting up to the garden. Look at him with his head held low. I feel so bad for him. He's like, oh man, I finally get to go home tonight. And, oh. Expected the changing of the guard. Such a disappointment. Okay. Okay, no problem. We'll just give this new Prisrak a dose of the same medicine. I'll scan his ID number. And the two of you head to the room marked Dissection 1. We'll surveil his private quarters. See if we can't find something incriminating in there. What exactly is inside of these dissection rooms? Are, are we literally talking like dissecting bodies? Or something else? Because I thought I heard... Um... Pre-Doe say that she dissected all the pre-Cals. 
Which, you know, if she actually cut open their bodies to examine all of them, that seems kind of implausible. So I think it means something else. Hello again. This is Matty Sade with the Morning Bell Online Edition. The plot thickens as now a second Prisrak, David Bowen, faces disturbing charges involving possession of contraband. Stay tuned for further updates. I love this. Look at this. This is the online edition. Everything's like really nice, high quality background image. Everything's nice and sharp. And then there's this image that looks like it's like a two color GIF from 1996 or something. Like, what is up with that? That is so weird. That makes no sense. Uh, you don't want to go? What? Isn't that where I'm... What? You want me to go back? Oh, right, I guess the dissection rooms are back here. But how am I gonna open it? I kind of have paid attention to what you said, to be honest. After all, someone did it. Who's to say it wasn't him? Access the monitor. I'll log you in. All of these must be taken down. Especially this one. <sighs> what a vulgar display. It's just a poster. It celebrates a behavior the Overseer resolutely prohibits. It's a liquor advertisement. Uh, Derringer lets me have it up. Derringer does not make the rules. He merely enforces them. Poorly, I may add. I'm keeping it. Do not test me. It's my identity. You have no identity! You have been misinformed. You have no personality we care to know. No name we care to speak. In time, you may earn these things. But for now, you remain a blank canvas, as do these walls. I really hate that woman. Good find. You're old hat at this by now. Hey, man, you working tonight? Nope. AM library. What's up? Oh, uh, yeah, just come on in, why don't you? Can I borrow this? What, my D4 comic? Hell no, I'm reading it. You're not reading it right now. I'll trade you the sandwich. That's a horrible trade. And get that out of my room. You're spilling mustard soil on the floor. Fair enough. Hey, did you get that email from Downger? What email? Check it out. <sighs> Derringer email. No, I don't see anything here. Right on. I guess he didn't CC you. Anyway, I'll get out of your hair. Later. Later. Oh, damn it. I took my comic. Sneaky little bastard. That one could come in handy. What else? Hey, Mom, it's me. I don't know what time it is where you are, because I don't even know where I am. I'm calling you from the satellite phone Uncle Connor gave me. You were right. I should have listened to you. This whole thing, this place, I get it now. There's order in the universe, but at a cost I can't afford. I just want to leave. I just want to leave. Marae and 
scavenger, each have an arm, and they're pulling me in opposite directions. I had a dream where they actually did this and then fought each other with my torn off limbs. <laughs> consider this place to be part of it. Bye. I feel really bad for this guy. Also, that's a really sweet phone. Look at it. Not only does it double... And not only is it a, a satellite-connected phone, but it also doubles as a gun. Look at that sweet silencer on the top left of it. Nice. Multifunction. I can't, I don't have a shovel. Attention! At ease. Hello, young man. May I come in? Yes, sir. How are you finding your new surroundings? Very accommodating, sir. I see you have been outfitted with the Prizrak arsenal. Yes, sir. And dealing with cargo, as precious as the precals. It is important to maintain a gentle hand, hence these more encouraging instruments. Oh, this is a fine taser you have. Good deterrent to fits of rebellion, <laughs> wouldn't you say? Yes, sir. Do not lose it. And never, ever turn it toward your superiors. Fabulous. Let's get to work. We'll have to no. the surface in no time. No, don't tell me I have to do it. This a... one should go quickly, no. as you're now well versed in the language yeah. of character assassination. A Prizrak attacked Mireille. Make me believe it was this one. Oh, damn it. I really hate that. I just want to leave. Very accommodating, sir. Wait, there's one missing? Hmm. Either there's a spot I didn't find, or they just reused the same template as before, and they didn't have enough audio samples, so they just left it. I really hate that woman. Okay, done. Publish. Yep. Mireille Prideau's attacker called Red-Handed. Well, perhaps not Red-Handed, but soon enough anyway. Well, ruined his life. Mm, now what? Can they just go back there and he's not gonna be guarding it anymore? I guess, I guess. I don't see why I couldn't... Back to sanctuary and grab a pen. There are front row seats. I'm calling this one into Derringer personally. Expect the arrest to go down any minute. Not really sure why I had to actually arrest him, given all my arsenal of tools to take him out, but okay. Derringer will be here any second. Get in the okay. bench and wait for the Prizrak to get dragged away, kicking and screaming. I understand, but it doesn't do us a whole lot of good now. Shut the siren off already! I can't hear myself think! <sighs> Is everyone out to ruin me? Oh, you got to be kidding.
plot twist. <sighs> I'm sad. But not for the reason that you might think. I hear some noise. Hmm. Is, is Hope doing something, or am I just going to hear her weeping for the entire credit sequence? God, I hope not. She is on the surface. The rain. You can hear frogs. Birds and stuff. Nightlife. Well, wherever she is, it can't... The surface can't be that like, pyramid in the water that I saw. Because if so, then you wouldn't be hearing things like frogs. Must be... some land. Anyway, I'm kind of scared to talk, so I'm worried that there's going to be something important in the background, but I'll just keep listening for anything important, and shut up if it uh, happens. But anyway, yeah, uh, I'm sad, but not for the reason that the game seems... Oh! I think she just walked away from the phone. I wonder if I'll... Maybe we'll hear her come back. Anyway. Yeah, uh, the game obviously wanted me to be sad because we screwed over Cooper. And, you know, Hope is there crying in the elevator because of what just happened. Her friend, the person helping her, just got his life pretty much ruined. And there's this dramatic swell of music as she goes up to the surface. The game obviously wants you to be sad and emotionally moved, but... I didn't care. This game has really lost me. And that makes me so sad. You know, I'm not... The game is trying to do a thing. It's trying to take you on this emotional roller coaster ride. It's trying to take you with it, but I wasn't with it. I wasn't with it at all. It was trying to do a thing, and I'm just like, what? No, I'm not. I don't feel that. You want me to feel that, but I don't feel that. It wants me to feel sad for Cooper, but... I mean, he has been helpful. I certainly don't hate him. It's just that... It felt... The fact that I, you know, screwed him over. I'm walking to you now. Are you there? Not quite. I'm going to need more time. We shouldn't be talking about one. I agree. But then I don't have my phone, do I? As if it wasn't enough to tase me, you had to give the precal my only means of communication. Technically, I didn't give it to her. Over. Technically, you're an <laughs> Over. <laughs> I had to jam. Where is she anyway? How would I know? I was unconscious. Stay on this channel. I'll see you at noon. Over and out. Watch your step. I really like these credit sequences that have little bits of the story interspersed throughout it. I think it's really cool. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah. Well, I guess, actually, before I get back to what I was saying, I guess we should talk about what just happened there. So it sounds like the... The whole thing with, um, Prido getting tased was actually part of her plan. So, interesting. Which means she wanted me to escape, or rather, she wanted Hope to escape. For some reason. I don't know what. But anyway, what I was saying before. Yeah, the game wanted me to feel sad about what happened to Cooper, but I didn't feel sad because it just felt completely contrived. The fact that it just happened to be the guy that's been helping me that I screwed over without knowing. It, it just feels silly. It feels ridiculous. And I just happen to be... It, you know, I, he just happens to get kicked over to the uh, the vent. And he looks inside and sees me for a second. Like, come on. The chance of all that happening just... No. It's not even close to believable. It just feels ridiculous. It felt completely ridiculous. So the game just lost me and I wasn't on board what he was trying to do. And it, it just lost me. Right, the game was a roller coaster, and I fell off and went splat on the pavement. 
I don't know. That's just how I felt about... Like, that's been the trajectory of the game, is... I got on for the ride at the beginning of the game, and I've just been, like, falling more and more off. Like, every episode, like, at the end of the first episode, like, my, my safety harness and the roller coaster was kind of coming apart. By the end of the second episode, I was, like hanging off of the bottom of the roller coaster with one hand <laughs> and at the end of the third episode I just fell off and went splat like I'm off the ride it it's just falling apart it's becoming more ridiculous I I just it feels like it's doing everything it can to push me and push me away and make the world feel less believable and more more gamey and more ridiculous the whole newspaper thing, that was the start of when it started to really go bad. The ridiculous newspaper thing. And then they've re they repeated it three times. You do the newspaper thing three separate times. Every time I feel like more of my soul is dying every time I make a new newspaper headline thing. I don't know. The game is just such a weird mix of stuff that's really good and stuff that's ridiculously gamey and stuff that just ruins any immersion or believability I have in the story. Because on one hand, it's got great voice acting. Like, really, the, the voice acting is so damn good. It does a great job of bringing these characters to life. And the characters are actually fairly interesting, some of them. Especially Murray and um, the Headmaster. I think those two characters, and, and Derringer, too, I think are the most interesting. You know, Hope doesn't really have that much of a personality. Um, oh, Zager. Zager's very good, too. Like, there's actually some good character development and really good voice acting. And some great sound design. Like, there's good stuff going on. And the whole story of this sort of, like, colony that has basically its own government that exists separately from really any other government, for the most part. This fascist uh, state, or whatever you want to call it. I guess it is basically a political entity. I guess it is kind of a state. It's, it's a really interesting story and a really interesting idea. There's interesting stuff going on in this game, but damn if it doesn't keep undermining itself again and again. It just makes me depressed. Because I feel like there's so much missed potential. Uh, what happens if we try to play the next episode? Because the next episode is not actually out yet. And that was the third episode. There's going to be a fourth and a fifth, but they're not out. Is there like a... Yeah, there's nothing. Okay. Well, um, before I end this episode, I just want to speculate a little bit about what's going to happen in the next two episodes. So, she's just escaped. Well, kind of. She just got to the surface. I mean, she might be on an island or something, so for all I know, she hasn't really escaped. It's probably, yeah, I'm guessing they're probably on an island and she's probably going to need to get a boat or something to actually get out. Or something of the sort. Or perhaps there's walls around the place or something. I don't know. There's obviously more. She's not scot-free. But, uh, wherever she is, I'm pretty certain there's gonna have to be cameras there, because otherwise I can't do anything at all. Because that's the angle that the game is coming at this from, is that you are a person looking through the cameras and messing with the, with the computer systems around her. So if there's no cameras around her, then you can't really do anything. So, wherever she is, she's, there's gonna have to be cameras. There's pretty much going to have to be. But, uh, I feel like they're gonna actually start changing stuff up here. Because episodes 1 through 3 were very formulaic. They definitely had a formula of constantly upgrading to the next level of uh, Omni, the next Omni level to allow you to get into these places again. And I'm sure they're going to continue that because I've seen level 5 doors and I only have level 4 access. So at some point they're obviously going to give me level 5 access. And I'm going to have to use it. But the thing is, they've been giving me between 1 and 2 levels of increased access per episode. And at this point, I have level 4 access, and the only the highest level I've seen is 5. Which means they have 2 episodes, but only 1 level of access to actually give me. Which I think means at some point, you're going to be able to access everything. And I wonder what's going to happen then. I feel like stuff might start changing up. But you know what? Even though she's escaped to the top, she's going to have to come back down. And the reason I say that is because there were many level 5 doors down where she came from, and I was never able to open them. And I'm almost certain if those doors exist, you're going to have to come back to open them at some point. So she's going to come back down at some point. Hmm. Yeah, so we'll see what happens. But I'm hoping 
And I'm pretty sure that they are gonna change up the formula to some degree, at least because of the whole Omni version thing, because we're pretty much capped out. I mean, we've pretty much reached the Omni level cap. So I'm feeling like they might have to start changing up the formula. I'm really hoping they do, because they need to, they need to break out of the formula. I'd be a lot more on board with it if they did, because that's one of the things that's really hurting my ability to feel immersed in it, is it feels so formulitic. As if they came up with an idea of how the game should be played, and then they just use that formula for every single episode so far. So I'm really hoping they change things up. I really hope they do. Because there's, there's something here, there's something special about this game, but it's just covered with so much mud. Like, there's, there's a gem somewhere down there, I think. You just, you really gotta reach around and put your hands into the muck to find it. So I'm hoping every episode uh, after this one is an upwards trajectory. But uh, we'll have to see. So, that is the end of Republic Episode 3. I hope you enjoyed, and of course I will be back as soon as Episode 4 comes out.